So next, we are going to talk about the mining tab. Uh, and we'll touch base on this one a little bit later on once we get some more and different types of miners. So let's talk about mining. Mining tab is should ideally be called the minerals and mining tab, but whatever. So mining tab gives you the mineral data for the planet that you're looking at or the well the planet that the colony is on. So if you have a dip, if you had a different colony on Earth for a different race or a different species, then you would get the same or well, the same quantity and accessibility, although the rest of it might vary. Um, so this tells you what minerals are on the actual planet. There are 11 minerals in total. You've got duranium, neutronium, corbamide, tritanium, boronide, macassium, vendorite, sorium, iridium, corundium, and gallocyte. Uh, these are all used in different things. We'll talk about that later. But these are the uh, minerals that are available at the planet and a total summary down the bottom. Accessibility is over here. Accessibility is just a straight up multiplier for the production rate. So I can, our 800 conventional industry down here has a um, 1.5 base production. Uh, and then, well, we uh, then it's multiplied by manufacturing efficiency, stability, and political status. These are all 100%, so multiplier by one. We have no radiation, but if we had radiation from nuclear bombardment, uh, we would uh, have a reduction from that. The governor and the sector governor can each provide their own bonus. Uh, ship commanding officers provide bonuses to orbital miners. And then once all these are added up, we have the total modifier. And then we have the total modifier per mine and then total production. So 800 times the 1.5 base production gives us 1,200 total production. This total production is applied to every mineral at once, multiplied by that mineral's accessibility. So we can see here that because our macassium is accessibility of 1, our production is 1,200. But because our duranium is only 0.9, our production is 1,080. At 0 0.5, it's down to 600. And at 0.4, it's down to 480. And then we have the total production across all minerals, which is a hair under 10,000. Um, and this is all annual, of course. As I said, uh, a lot of the numbers are annual. Um, so we're producing 10,000 minerals per year in total, or a hair under. And these are the rates that we're producing the minerals at. At the current rate of production, and this is how long it's going to take for each mineral to be depleted. So you can see here that our iridium is probably going to run out first. And that's because we have a very low quantity with a very high accessibility. So even though our gallocyte is actually less than the iridium, because the accessibility is only 0.4, it's going to take 115 years compared to only 47.6. Now... Obviously, this is all relative. As we build more mines and as the accessibility drops, as the, as the quantity starts to decline, these will all change. But this gives you a rough indication of what's going to run out first and roughly how long you can expect the mining operation to continue. So uh, that's the depletion in years. The stockpile is how, my, how many of each mineral the colony currently has. So we got 41,500 minerals of each. And this is our current stockpile. The recent stockpile production... Oh, I don't think that's I mean, stockpile production. But uh, basically, this is how, how the stockpile has changed within the last production cycle. Or increment. One of the two. So because, yeah, production cycle, not increment, because we did a five minute increment and it hasn't changed. So uh, this is how the stockpile has changed within the last production cycle. Because all the minerals have appeared in the last production cycle, they are identical. Once we get to the next production cycle, then this will change to uh, probably this, this bit divided by 365 because uh, we have one day production cycles. 
So uh, this will tell you how, how, what the change is like. A positive number means that you are gaining that many uh, within the last production cycle. A negative number means that you are losing that many per production cycle. So if you have negative numbers in here, you are at risk of running out. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is the mass driver increase or decrease. So this tells you how many minerals of each type the mass drivers are receiving or sending. Uh, now, this is stockpile plus production. So this is what you can expect your stockpile to be at uh, by this time next year. So it's basically this plus this equals that. Very straightforward. Um, it does not include consumption. That's this one. So this is how many minerals you can expect to have be used over the next year. Um, now, we're not building anything, but the reason why we have these is because we are building something. We're producing fuel and we're producing MSP. So fuel is made from sorium. So we're going to be consuming about 800 uh, units of sorium over the next year for our fuel consumption. And we can expect to, to use 40 duranium and galacite and 20 iridium for our MSP production. Um, so we're consuming a few resources here. Uh, you'll notice that because our sorium production is 720 and our usage is 800, that means that we will actually lose sorium this year. So you'll notice it says 3,720. That's wrong. You need to remove this from this to get how much you will actually have. So we can expect everything to increase except our sorium should decrease by about 80 units uh, at the end of the year. Reserve levels are what you can set by double clicking that mass drivers and freighters will not take. So if you have a freighter that is dropping off and then picking up and taking away, but you want to leave a little bit of minerals as reserve, you can set your reserve levels here. And freighters and mass drivers will keep, uh, will not take values above that amount. Uh, industry will. So this is what you use to set uh, values that you want to reserve for your industry. Now, down here, we have our breakdown of mineral consumption. So this is our usage. This is where it's going and why. So construction from industry. Uh, so we, this is construction for construction. Ordnance, so miss, missile production, fighter production. This is for any shipyards that are doing. So this is for ships being built or scrapped. Uh, this is for any modifications to the shipyards themselves. Uh, this one here is any uh, sorium produced consumed by refineries. This will only ever have sorium listed um, you'll, because it never uses anything else. This is any resources con uh, consumed by ground training. This is resources produced uh, consumed by maintenance. This will only ever be duranium, iridium, and galacite. And this is the total sum of all of these. So this will tell you where your minerals are actually going um, over the next year. So mining modifiers, and we already talked about this uh, a little bit earlier, but you'll also find that this will break down things like mines, auto mines, and orbital miners and stuff like that. Um, so uh, you'll, you'll get a couple of extra rows here. Uh, once you get different kinds of mining. We also have our mass driver destination. So down here is where we aim any mass drivers on the planet. Uh, mass drivers send 5,000 5, minerals per year per mass driver to the destination you send it to. You can only target your own colonies that also have a mass driver and you cannot remove the last mass driver from a planet that has a mineral packet inbound. So keep that in mind. You cannot, without using Space Master mode to do funky stuff, you cannot bombard a planet with a mass driver. The game will not let you. It has enough security in place that you cannot aim or uh, make a target eligible for bombardment. You cannot bomb a target that way. You're just going to have to use nukes. 
but this is where you target your mass drivers when you actually have some uh this here will let it so that you don't double click to set a reserve amount so you can toggle that on and off 